just got attacked by, everyone always thinks golden retrievers are like this super nice breed, which they are, but they tend to be, a lot of them they seem to be really highly reactive, like even Sadie. Yeah. Your old golden is very reactive. The older she got, she was. The older we got, and we're just walking just like this, and two off-leash golds came growling in an aggressive manner, not just like being reactive, like very aggressive, like they're going to attack. You should mention the Goldens are the owner's dog, so that's why they're off leash here. So, um, ran up on us, tried to attack these guys. Justice, Justice, if a dog comes at him, he's like an instant like defense mode, I'm going to fight you. And Bruce was like... I haven't heard a growl from Bruce like that in a very long time. Like, he wanted to do something, but he didn't. I just told him to chill. Um, I literally just stood there with the dogs, like this, and I told them to leave it, and I didn't move because they were both... He was growling super deep. He was growling super deep, and the guy had his golden right here, which he was holding on to him. Instead of him taking his golden away? Yeah, I don't know why. I don't know why. I'm like, get the guy, get the dog away from us. Please. Yeah. And like, he's just sitting here, and Bruce is like, <sighs> I'm like, he's gonna bite him. He, can you please get rid of the dog? Um, just before we turn on the camera, too. Just before. And it would have been just a good learning lesson, just so people could see like how it escalated. I saw it right off the bat. I heard the dog coming up on us, so I kind of started to walk a little bit faster. I was voicing the care, I'm like, stop that dog, stop that dog, stop that dog, and she didn't hear me. I think she was paying attention. Because you turned around. Well, there right? was two Goldens. There was the There's one approaching two. from my left and the one approaching from behind us. So they got in it. I don't know if Justice bit the other dog or not. I think their mouths were open, but I don't think there was any actual biting. Uh, and again, I wish I had it on camera. Uh, these guys did nothing wrong, like whatsoever. And I'm actually super pleased with how quickly it de-escalated. Like, these guys, like, quickly, like, just calmed right down. Um, but now, they're going to be probably, like, on high alert for the rest of the day, I'd assume. How are we going to navigate like, walking back to the car? The same. Just the same? Okay. The same. Um, hopefully they're not there, if so, we'll tr try to go around very much so. Yeah. Um, and it sucks because he is reactive. Where if he sees a dog on leash, like, he starts to get, like, reactive where Bruce would just walk past them. And this kind of sets it all, sets it back. And it's not nothing that we did or nothing that we could have controlled um, because things just happen, right? Things just randomly happen. That's why it's good to expose your dog to a ton of different situations. So hopefully it doesn't set him back. Hopefully he takes as a learning experience to be like, hey, nothing happened. Dad has this under control. Mom has this under control. I don't have to be as reactive. But anyways, we're at Navarino Orchard right now. Going to do some apple picking. Bruce is going to take a seat. Bruce is going to take a seat. Kara <laughs> already had these guys out and about today. They went on the mom dog walk off leash on the canal. And we figured we'd drive out to this beautiful orchard. Get some honey crisp apples. Aww, the way Bruce is looking at you right now. Thanks, Dad. Thanks for keeping us safe. No? You just shook his head no. TJ doesn't. He doesn't know enough of the world yet still. So there's nobody around. So I'm going to take him off leash. It's, um, what day is it? Wednesday? I think so. It's Wednesday. Just a stay. Just a sit. Good sit, buddy. Um, and we like to try to come to places like this when there's not a lot of people. Just because it's a lot more peaceful. And Justice loves apples. So we're going to get Justice an apple slice. Let's go check this out. Come on, guys, let's go. Justice down here, buddy. Good boy. Good boy, Bruce, let's go. I'll take this for a second. It's about an hour drive here, 45 minutes. Maybe at the end of the video, you could share with the people what you were talking about, like ho the hopefully is that we didn't set him back. Like, how will we? How will we and will we approach anything differently the next time we have justice near another dog? Maybe yeah. you can share that later in the I'll video. I'll share yeah, I'll definitely share that later in the video. Or what what warning signs would you look for? Things like that. Injustice? Yeah. Okay, yeah, because there's there's nothing I could do in that situation. 
Let's see what Justice does. <laughs> I say his name, he's like, you need me, Dad? All right, want to take this uh, apple orchard bag? I do. I got their leashes. Okay. It is, look at how beautiful it is out, guys. It is so nice. Um, we haven't done a walk and talk in a few weeks. The last one kind of bombed. Did it? Yeah. If people, people like it? I don't know. If people don't like the walk and talks, like, there's no point in doing them because I don't want to waste people's time. Well, plus, I'd rather just have quality time with you versus on camera. I, I know. If, watch if they're not going to want to watch. Husband back then. If they don't want to watch the walk and talks. And Bruce is just going to pee and everything. Justice is becoming a peer as well. What was our last walk and talk? The one where we got all bit up? Yeah. Maybe it's because we got all bit up and we we're like kind of cool. Justice is happy. But yeah, this dog's quickly ready to fight if a dog's like, hey, leave it. Yeah. That's what you get. You just it's got, very different he just got stung dog. by a bee. Did he get stung? Because yep. he swells up. He swells up. He does swell up. He'll survive. Um. Oh. You mess with um, Justice, he's quick to, to defend himself. And it, it, and it quickly, he doesn't sound like a little baby bark when he does that. No, he doesn't. He was ready to go. Justice, let's he go. Didn't even ha like literally the golden had approached him and he didn't even like think twice. He immediately. No, the golden like jumped up at him. He jumped up at him. So Justice like yeah. turned and jumped right back. He didn't even think and twice. And Bruce started to react, but I quickly calmed him down. Come he on, buddy. He didn't like jump though. He... Yeah. Like, Bruce will give the cues. Justice won't. And he's like, yep, we're fighting. Yeah, I don't know why that dog literally just sprinted and I think charged. It, well, it could be because he's not neutered, so sometimes they smell that. That's true. You know? That could be true, too. So maybe. maybe two intact nails, maybe the scent of it. And these guys are intact. And, and these guys have been here before, and we know they have Goldens off leash. Yep. We haven't had issues in the past. Nope. The Golden's approached us and been fine. Yeah. But yeah, that just I just want everyone to know because a lot of people get breeds and think that this breed's nice and and there's not like really mean or or nice breeds. Right. Every every dog can react. Justice. I've seen go. plenty of um, dog bites come from Goldens. I think Labs have the second Justice. amount of uh, bites in the United States or Labs. Um, really. So, just remember, just because it's a golden doesn't mean it's friendly. Just because it's a Corso doesn't mean it's mean, right, Bruce? Good boy. <laughs> These guys are being the example of good dogs. He's a little sore after sitting in the car. Yeah, it was a 45-minute drive here, so. Yeah. All right, let's go. Let's see if Can Justice wants... Let me uh, see if Justice wants an apple slice. These are Honeycrisp, right? Because that's what I want. Yeah. Let's find a good one. I'm glad you got a good reach because I need you to pick some good ones up top. There's a bunch that aren't too high. I know, but I like... Like these ones look good up here. Which one do you want? This one? The one to the right of that. Well, I'll give Justice a slice of this okay. one. Hold this. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Justice. Want an apple slice? Check out that nice t-shirt you got on there. Yeah. Check out the link in the description box, guys. Get your merch. Tons of Corso merch. Do you have any Halloween Corso merch? Um, my best friend has fangs. I like that one That's for a Halloween. Shirt with Bruce's face on it. Bruce will not eat apples, but we should probably offer him a slice. Bruce, these are delicious. We're Good. We're getting some. Just as this like this, I don't care. Yeah, it's not that weird. Why are you drooling everywhere if you're not gonna eat it, bro? It's for you. He is kind of picky about when he'll eat his fruit. Bruce has never. We've been taking him every year we got him to the apple orchard. He never wants an apple. Is this the first year we've had Honeycrisp in a bit? Do yeah, because it's a little later in the season for us. What do you guys do for um? Do you guys have any fall time activities? Me and Kara, I'll get that for you, babe. Okay. This one? Yeah. That one right there? That one right there. I got it for Put it in the, open the bag. It's Kara's birthday on October 1st, guys. <laughs> oh, are you dropping apples? <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, you can't walk backwards because you step on apples. You do. And you break your ankle and fall. Yeah, you have to be careful. This is a hazard. So, 
Every year we like to come here at least once. We'd like to try to come twice. Yeah, because Granny Smiths are the end of like. We've we, never had Granny we Smiths. Never come for them. We never do because October gets so busy. So this year's probably gonna be no different. Justice, come here. Like, is Justice looking bigger to you guys too? Because he's definitely looking bigger to me lately. He is looking like thicker, and Bruce is just like chilling in the shade. Look at these guys. And he won't leave my side now. Is it because the other dog kind of like tried to attack us? Yeah. That's why I, I know you're not nervous, but that's why me, I'm like nervous walking back to the car. If I was so, know what I'll do? I'll have you film. I'll have the dogs again. Okay. So, guys, make sure you stay tuned to the end of the video. See what happens. To see what happens. Hopefully, nothing happens. Hopefully, yeah. But I also, um, I told her, she asked what she should do. I, she didn't hear me saying stop the dog. She should have, like, if it was me, I had the dog, so I had to, like, try to keep them away from the other dog. Because if Bruce bites, or Justice really bites someone, that those dogs, he's they're going to do damage. Yeah, I just didn't know if stepping in the middle So of the I would have literally just mistake. booted the dog. Just booted yeah. the dog. It's not going to kill the dog. It's going to hurt. Is it going to do, like, long-term damage? No, but hopefully it'll keep the dog away. There was, like, a whole spectacle, too, because people are outside eating at the cafe. And they all think it's probably these guys. You know? Which They're sucks. Always, it's not these guys at all. No, even the owner said that. They're like, it's not their fault. Yeah. I know. I was like, so Kara, I, really I was annoyed just because Kara said, I'm sorry. I'm like, don't apologize. It's not our fault. And that's just, not me being a jerk, but I just don't want, I just don't want blame to be placed on us. me as a person. I apologize no, I know. for everything. I know. All the time. I even don't, when I shouldn't. Yeah. And I, I'm not like that. I, I will 100% take blame if I'm at fault. If I'm not at fault, I'm taking zero blame. Well, correct me on that the next time has nothing to do with the dogs and I'm apologizing to you. Be like, you don't have to say sorry. Oh, you always got to say sorry to me. <laughs> I'm just joking, baby. I want them when they're not like yellow on half the side. I mean, honey crisp just sometimes be like that. So do you guys go apple picking, pumpkin picking, pumpkin patches? Hey, good boy, Justice. You guys can chill here. You guys can chill there. Bruce is having... um. His seasonal allergies aren't bad like they used to be since we did that allergy protocol, but he's still getting some a little bit of leaky eyes. You can see right there, just a little bit. Nothing bad. Um, people coming. Come on, let's go down here, boys. Bruce, let's go. I just don't want people around the dogs when they're... Are there people here? I don't know. I heard voices off in the distance, so I'm going to come down here. So, our October, guys, is insanely busy. Keep an eye on Bruce because I'm walking forward and he's in front of you. I'll keep an eye on Justice. Um, our October is like insane. We have so many projects going on and I wish I could share them all with you. It mostly has to do with Kara. So even though it has to do with Kara, I'm the behind the scenes guy. I do all the filming, editing and all this stuff. And she really needs my help coming up, up in October. It's her birthday October 1st. It's our anniversary October 10th. We've been married for 15 years, guys. Been together since 99, but married 15 years. So, um, is Kara getting a selfie? Yep, she's getting a selfie. Hey, Bruce. So, I don't know how I'm going to handle the channel. Um, because I, with everything that I'm going to have going on, I can't be editing all these videos and stuff. That's kind of why I'm doing a walk and talk right now, just because it's pretty easy. I'll just throw it in the cap cut. I won't edit it all. And I'll just throw captions on for you guys. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. So I may have to have Kara take over the channel for a couple weeks. Shoot some videos. Uh, maybe some walk and talks with her without me. I don't know if you guys would be accepting of that. I'd super appreciate it if so. And still support the channel and support us. Watching these videos and all that stuff. Um... If you rather just not see any of that and just wait till I have more time, it just may be a couple weeks without videos. Kara, what are you doing? There's what? There's good apples down here too, baby. You got the you got your squad down here. We'll focus on apples down here. I was explaining to them that we got a lot going on in October. I couldn't tell them what we got going on, but I was I was seeing if 
if you take over the channel for a couple weeks and do a couple walk and talks without me where you just throw it in a cap cut, no editing needed, if they'd appreciate that, or if they don't want to see you and just, you know, yeah, don't whole, want... It's a whole different vibe. If you get videos from me, I'm not going to try to be Jason because I'm not. We're two different people. <laughs> we are. So the style of videos you would get from me would be a little bit different. But I do really need to work on drills with both dogs because I've been gone a lot this summer and I'm noticing it's negatively impacting their listening to me. Yep. So I need to kind of work on that with them. So if you guys would like a couple videos seeing that. They'll come in the house and I tell them to stay so I can clean their feet and they just like, they won't move. She brings them in the house and tells them to stay and they just walk past her and come to me. Like they're, she's not. Jason's in the kitchen, yeah. he's the number one. So they so act, they don't like, even listen to her. They're like eagerly trying to go to Jason versus listening to my command and waiting. Yeah, eager beavers. So it's kind of like annoys me not at her at them that they're like kind of just pretending she's not even there So that just comes down and that'll you know that'll turn around quick Yeah, we've been here before you kind of like lose well, sight it's the power shift. It's it's the fact that I've been gone so much So then you have to do so much more so they're constantly going to you not to mention you've had a lot of medical stuff as per usual but like when you're not feeling well, they're also way more yeah. to be focused on you and what do you need and are you okay and do you need something from them yep. because that's the even this guy this guy too very much so he's very in tune with emotions yep very in tune with that all right so what you so we got some I, good apples these aren't as good as down there boo why what's the difference they look prettier down there they look prettier well, look at look at these red ones down here yeah. look it up here I, I, are they more red when they're up higher because they're getting more sun Okay, I want. You, babe, who who can pick fruit? You already we already decided that. Remember, you questioned my mango picking. And what happened? One tell them what happened to my when you questioned my mango picking. Ooh, you gotta call me out like that. <laughs> it was an all green mango. None of y'all would have thought it was a good mango. I he did. Touched it. He's like, this is ready today, and I'm like, in what world? It's all green. He cuts it up. It was 10 out of 10. It tasted like gummy worms. It was yeah, so good. Jason Corey being right again. I hate it. I just tend to be right. And it's not because I'm always right. It's because I just don't speak unless I'm 100%. Oh my God. Unless, I, go. unless I 100% know, go. I usually don't say Let's much. Let's take an ad break. Can you roll some B-roll or something? <laughs> hey guys, make sure you check out the description box below. Where I have this amazing kind of Corso merch. I have tons of dog training courses that'll bring your dog training to the next level. Back to the show. There's my ad break. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go. Let's go get your happy apples. So we'll call them happy apples. Happy birthday, boo! Thanks, babe. October first. Yeah. You, you didn't have to get off. You're in a good spot. Why is he so happy? He didn't swell up this time. I know he got stung. I'm a lessons learned kind of guy. He also got prickers in him earlier. <laughs> I'm a lessons learned guy. Learn your lessons and don't do it again. Let him get stung. He got all prickered up earlier from his need to track. These are good apples. Look Thank at those. You. Look at that bunch right there. I was just selfieing. I was checking out the apples. Bruce Wayne, what are you doing over there, buddy? Come over on this side where I can see you. Come on, let's go. Good boy. Stay where I can see you, dude. People think there's a bear walking around here. And I guarantee, Justice is a wanderer. Not like where he's going to wander out of sight by any means, typically. Yeah. But he likes to be in front of us. Like, typically he'd be like 100, 200 feet down that way. And I almost guarantee he's not because of those dogs trying to attack us. Well, and his excursion earlier today, yeah. too. Okay. Well, I mean, he probably thought that dog was trying to attack us, which it wasn't. Right. He's trying to attack these dudes. Yeah, he didn't care about us. Those guys would have just licked us. Yeah. Bruce is hot. Bruce is drooling a little bit. A little warm out here. It's, what's the temp out, babe? 65? It's nice. I don't know. Yeah, Think, it's, it's not too bad. It's not out. too bad, but the sun's it's, pretty it's warm. It's 65, but yeah, there's not a major breeze and the sun's very much on us right now. All right, I'm gonna pick some apples and we'll catch you guys on the way out. Okay. You guys look cute. So I'm keeping my eye out for doggies. When I see the goldens, I'm gonna go a different way. Justice Seal. And we got some chickens up here, so I want Justice to see the chickens. 
Apologies if I'm not getting everyone in the shot. These guys are walking faster than what I can walk backwards. Hopefully no dogs. Hopefully not. I don't like us. Look at the chicken hanging out with the goat. That's so cute. There's the dog. Yeah, the, there's one dog over there. Aww. Oh, this goat's not impressed. Do they sell eggs here? They do, I think. Ooh, you should oh, we could check on the inside. Get a dozen eggs. Take this. You can see. Yeah, get a dozen chicken eggs. Like farm fresh eggs would be great. Alright, I'm gonna go around the opposite way since that dog over there don't like us. Yeah. And I'll see you shortly. I'll take the phone. Okay, you babe. Pay up. Okay, hang on. I'm gonna show him the dog. I don't know if y'all can see him over there. There's one of them. There was two. It was a tag team. A tag team on both of them. Apparently, they're suicidal. <laughs> right? That was definitely a suicide mission. They're dog. lucky Bruce is sweet. I've never seen a chicken like fly up before. I know, it's so cute. Yeah, okay, I just okay. I kinda watch I wanna watch the chickens. I'm gonna go watch chickens so you go pay. Get us the eggs if they have some. A dozen. Look at the goat standing on the table. Oh my god, I got Bruce Justice, let's go. I gotta get a picture of this. Come on. Good boy. Good boy. He, why is he? <laughs> he just stole that bag. Good boys. Good boy, leave it. Justice, leave it. Sit. Justice, sit. Hey. Good boy. He's just very like, what are these things? So this is just great. Like, this is socialization. This is like getting him desensitized to things. The chickens are like, what are these things? Bruce is around chickens a lot or used to be. They haven't been going to daycare too much because it's, Justice can't handle the heat. So I don't want Justice to overheat at daycare. And he's doing fine. Let's go. Good boy. Bruce, no, you don't need to pee on that. That goat wants that bag. So, good boy, Bruce. Heel. Good heel. Good heel. The goat in there. So hopefully we can make it to the car, avoid those dogs. Justice heel. He's in high alert right now. Um, he's definitely more standoffish now because of the incident that happened. And let me get in the car and I'll explain to you guys uh, what Kara was talking about earlier, what we could do. So Kara got some farm fresh eggs from those chickity chickens that we were just, was just looking at. He did really well with them. He did? Um, he was fairly standoffish with some people not like he, was, yeah. he wasn't barking at them at all but he definitely reacted different than he normally, normally he'd just be like I want to go meet you and this time he's like I'm not sure um, so Kara she suggested was wondering how would you say let's hold it to you so people can see your my merch your merch and your handsome face I'm hoping uh, yeah let's let them know what you would do differently or how you're going to approach justice now the next time he's around dogs because of that experience. So it could either go two ways. Since nothing happened, he may just be like, okay, like more chill because nothing happened. And I never get it on video when he's reactive. When he's reactive, it's not like he's like lunging or anything like that. It's not like that level of reactivity. It's like... He starts to come off his heel like, I want to go meet them, I want to go meet them. Then he starts bumping into me and stuff because like, he gets so anxiety built up in him, essentially, because <laughs> yeah. he wants to go meet this dog. Um, when he was a puppy, an off-leash dog came and attacked him. And it was just like a little dog, mm -hmm. but Justice bit the dog. Well, yeah. Not my fault, he just was on a leash. You know? Right. So, um, I think that kind of made him kind of like iffy on leash around dogs. Right. Right. So, it's just going to be like assessing it. Like, I next time we take him where there's going to be dogs, like if we go to Green Lakes, I don't want to go down a tight path with him. Right. I'd rather have some separation. Right. And just assess how he is. Yeah. If, he's, if I tell him to leave it and he leaves it, like he's, he's been doing great. Like his reactivity, like I was just describing, has went almost to, from a, from on a scale of 0 to 10, it was like a 6. Point five, mm -hmm. a seven maybe, 
And lately it's been like a three. He'd be like, oh, like, ooh, I, I don't know what to do. I want to meet this dog. Blah, blah. And right. then I'd tell him to leave it. And he'd be like, okay, cool. And keep walking. Yeah. Now that situation, what happened is I was walking straight with the two dogs. I heard the dog like let out a bark. And you know the difference between a dog barking and a dog aggressively barking like it's not happy and it's going to do something. Right. I saw it out of the corner of my eye and I started to walk faster to get away from it because I just knew it was a golden and we've met the goldens here before. They're not human mean. They're not like going to attack us. So I wasn't worried about Kara. Yeah. So I told her, I'm like, stop the dog, stop the dog, stop the dog. She didn't hear me. I think she's too focused on the dog. And then the dog like ran past her and like just like jumped and lunged at Justice who then lunged and mouths were open um i told bruce to leave it everything calmed down when i said leave it right if mm -hmm. i recall correctly it's always hard in those yeah, situations yeah another to an owner came over grabbed the dog he kind of stood there for a minute yeah then he stood there and bruce was like really letting a very deep growl so I was like, get the dog away from me. Get the dog away from me. That's what And he's he said just standing that. there. Yeah. And then I'm like, get the dog away from us. Yeah. And then he moved the dog away. Right. Um, because I didn't want Bruce to bite this dog or something happened. Um, nobody's fault, really. I mean, it's it's just what it's it is. It's just part of it's, it's nature, It's part of honestly. nature and dog's ownership. And this is a place. It's not like I'm like, oh my God, these people are bad dog owners. Oh, like their no. dogs are super sweet. This We've is met their them. property. This is their place. And if you check when Bruce met the um, white shepherd. Yeah. There is that one of those goldens yeah. was sitting right next to Bruce. Yeah. Completely fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Look how big your head looks, Biggs. <laughs> Holy schmoly, bruh. So, um, I'm just gonna, ahead. I'm just gonna assess and yeah. play it by ear. Like, I'm not going to let, I'm not gonna basically walk down a tight path uh, with other dogs coming at us until yeah. I see how Jess can react. So, you like, know what I'm gonna do differently? Huh? I will not be caught dead walking Justice off leash right now. Mm. That's what I'm gonna do differently. Yeah. Honestly, because my recall isn't as tight as yours with him. Mm -hmm. And seeing how he was, just like a little more kind of like, if sketched out after I personally can't take that chance with recalling him are these, are, is this an egg broke? no it's just no that egg came fresh out of that chicken's butt condens condensation it's a little dirty it's a little slippery that's where you got to uh, wash them eggs okay so alright what I'll, else you want to say hope you guys enjoyed the walk and talk Bruce did the outro what about that hat though that hat looks nice <laughs> look at that hat Bruce and you're so happy He's like, he's like, I want to go home. JJ's happy too. And Kara always drives because he gets car sick. So I'm going to send her on her way. all the boys home. Yep. Until next time, Bruce Wayne, Joey Justice, Kara Corey, and myself. We'll see you later. Peace. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace.